My name is Linda Sarsour and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And these are my two minutes. 50 years ago, Martin Luther King Jr. and hundreds of thousands of people marched on Washington to demand the dignity and respect that we all deserve. Here we are 50 years later demanding the same dignity and same respect. If we all saw Trayvon Martin, Oscar Grant, Sean Bell, and many others as our own children, we wouldn't be in the situation we are in today. Martin Luther King had said that he had a dream that one day his grandchildren would be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. Here we are 50 years later where not only are we still judging people by the color of their skin, but by the faith that they follow, by their test grades, by their gender, by their sexual orientation. We have not come too far from the legacy of Martin Luther King. Every day I wake up and I ask myself, what am I gonna do today to make sure that my children live in a just society, a society that loves them, embraces them, and accepts them for who they are and for who they want to be. So I continue to dedicate myself and to continue to be an advocate, a comrade, an ally for the Dream Defenders and the work that they do. Because this is our march, it's our time, we are the leaders of now, our children are the leaders of now, and we will take back our country to the place that we want it to go, which is forward. Moving our children to get to the best opportunities, to the best places, to the best universities, based on their merits and not based on their race, their gender, their religion. So let's move on forward together, let's continue to march together, let's continue to act together, and let's continue to dream together.